Hey guys, Almac111, and I just got back from Operation Ironclad. It was in Camp Shelby in Mississippi. Um, so I have some things that I got from the event. I was able to go with Z-Shot. Um, they are an international distributor um, located in Columbus. Um, and I had the opportunity to go down with them um, to be at their booth and play around um, with some of their new things. So you're going to see some really cool footage of their new uh, MRE, which is like a Honey Badger lookalike. Um, and then I also got to play with one of their new system of PTWs, the American PTW. I don't have footage of that, but I got to mess around with it, and it was great. So as um, some of you probably know, I my radio got messed up, um, and I lost it, and I ended up getting the wrong one. So instead, I had to... Um, send that one back because it wouldn't work with the, this battery pack that I got. I got an extended uh, 3800 milliamp Baofeng extended battery pack. For some reason, uh, the it was the 5RB model when it was just told it was. I was told it was the 5R. So I was curious, like, why is this not working? Um, but I figured it out, and that was why because it was a different model. So I ended up getting a yellow one from some company on eBay. Um, I figured it would help me not lose it or help me lose it a little less easily. Um, but I really like Falfing radios. A lot of people use the UV5Rs. Um, as far as ham radios go, you can't really get um, any nicer one um, for this price. Um, I mean, I got this thing for $39 or so. Um, and it's they're just really, really, um, really, really good radios, really solid. Um, they allow you to listen on two different channels, um, and it's great. And let you know, the battery actually fits. I got a black battery. Um, I figured it'd be fine. Um, I didn't want to get the yellow one. I kind of like the two-tone color version anyway. Um, I don't, I'm not going to get the antenna out because you guys literally just saw me open um, the other one. So next, we're going to go to some of the patches I got. I got a lot of new patches for my patch board. Um, I literally, like a week ago on my videos, you saw that I had literally nothing there. And then I got the new shop patch with Team Stealth and all theirs. Um, and then I got all the name tapes. And now I have... Oh, half of the American Milson patches um, that are out there, which is crazy. Um, so, um, the one of the head guys of American Milson, um, I went there and we didn't get the ironclad patches um, because we were uh, with Z Shot, so we were going to get them after everyone else did. So, we went there and got that, and then he gave us a bunch of other patches too, including both the American Milson, um, these are the limited edition ones. Um, he gave us uh, Operation Blue Gray, which was the one he held at Bow Hack. Um, the Reindeer Games 12, um, Reindeer Games 11, and then I have this one. Um, I really like Ironclad Patch. It was my first American Milsim event, so I really wanted to get um, the patch that was for it. Um, and I think patches are just cool. But yeah, he gave us some of those. And then uh, Castle Airsoft Vendor there, so I got one of theirs. And then Tactical Crusader, I think they're a team there. And then I got to meet Rob from Webwolf Airsoft, and he gave me one of these. Um, and then Amoeba, I was rocking the new... Um, MRE Honey Badger lookalike, so I got uh, the John from Z Shot gave me that. Um, and then this is uh, a field um, owned by one of the guys in American Milson, Big Silva. He um, owns this field. I forget what it's called, but this is the patch for the field. And then I met a guy named Devon, um, and he gave me uh, his IR reflective flag um, that he wore in Afghanistan. He actually just got back two weeks ago, so you'll see him in some of my footage. Um, so that was really cool that I uh, was able to have something um, from him um, because he's. He's, we get to play uh, airsoft and shoot our, be, our friends with BBs because of the things those guys are doing for us uh, overseas. Um, next, we got a monopod. Um, this is just like a, I'm going to use this for my contour. Um, I don't know how I'm going to use it. I got this, I think like six bucks off eBay. Um, but I've, I've been interested in getting one. I have a longboard, a penny longboard, sort of longboard. Um, and so I um, am going to use this just for filming footage on that. It's actually pretty nice. I mean, six dollars. Um, I'm going to screw my contour into the top there, um, then it adjusts a little bit. I'm not sure exactly what I'll use this for. It'll probably be in use with my contour for some things. Maybe if I'm walking around doing a field overview, I can get some like better footage um, rather than my camera. Maybe you can see um, sort of a wider angle. Um, and then I also won this, the, and not in the raffle, um, but they were throwing things out. So this got thrown to me, and I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, jumping on top of people. There was a dude to my left who was literally all over um, me trying to get stuff, but one was thrown to me, and I got it, and probably ended up selling it. Uh, but it's the Anola Gay grenade um, thing. Um, they make really, really nice smoke grenades. They're kind of expensive, but it's the, like the only good smoke grenade um, in the United States um, that really holds like a plume um, and a cloud. So thanks for watching, guys. I also got the uh, American Milsim, the little black one.
Um, and then the one for my first AMS op, um, once you get five of the ones, you can trade it in for one of the, it's got like five, it's just got the five, it's uh, a little bit different. Um, I'll probably keep all the ones just because I want to have a ton by the end. Um, I'm hoping to go to uh, Faded Giant uh, November 7th through 9th. Um, I may um, actually start working for uh, Z-Shot, uh, just a little part-time, um, and helping with them. Um, they're, they've been great. Um, thank you for watching this video, guys, and I will certainly see you soon. I'm going to get some of that gameplay footage up from Ironclad hopefully soon. Um, I'll just upload a few like action quick clips, um, but it was, it was a wonderful event and it was really fun to play with.